Hey Limpan fans, welcome back to another episode of Le Quo. The competition where I make up a puzzle question and the first person to answer it correctly gets a point. And whoever gets the most points in a year wins a game full of trick questions and riddles. In this episode, we're going to be answering three questions from the past. The first question we're answering is... On Jim's 18th birthday, he had lived for 6,575 days. But on Jen's 18th birthday, she had lived for 6,574 days. How is this possible? Roland Raffel says, uh, according to Google, 18 years is 6,750 days. So I think Jim and Jen are both bad at maths. But the answer to your riddle is that Jen was born late at night. So her birthday, she had lived for less than one day than Jim. Christian Barbieri says Jim was born in a leap year. Kay She says Jim was born on a plane as in born during the day, outran the sun and then it rose or the other way round is probably easier. Jen lost a day due to time differences. Christopher Lort says her birth time was in the afternoon and Jim was in the morning. Very interesting answers guys, but the correct answer is that Jim had lived through more leap years. Let me break this down for you. So Roland Ravel was very close because 365 times 18 is in fact 6,750. But the way you work out how old someone is, is you have to calculate 365 times their age plus the number of leap years they lived through. Let's look at it this way. Let's say, for example, Jim turned 18 this year and Jane turned 18 last year. Let's look at the years they lived through. Now, let's make all the leap years they lived through red. Okay, so as you can see here, Jim has lived through one more leap year, therefore he is one day older. No winners this week. That means for the first time in a very long time, I get a point, which gives me six points in the greatest of all time leaderboard. And that gives me my first win for this year's winner of the year leaderboard, which puts me in 11th place. Let's get to the second question. So the second question was, the first syllable is another word for shout. And the second syllable is a letter of the alphabet. Kay she says yellow. Sean says Scream P and the correct answer is yellow. That means Keishi is a winner for the week. Great question to you. Thank you, Keishi. 9.5 in my greatest all time leaderboard. And he keeps his lead. And that gives him 8.5 points in my winner of the year leaderboard. And he keeps his lead. Let's get to our third question. And our third question is which colour is the third floor of this building? Christian Barbieri and Lily Barbieri both said green. And the correct answer is green. And the first person to comment was Christian Barbieri. Congratulations to you. You're the winner of the code this week. That gives Christian Barbieri nine points in my greatest of all time leaderboard. And that gives him two points in my winner of the year leaderboard, which puts him in fourth place. We had a bonus question, and the bonus question was to explain why the answer was the answer. Christian Barbieri and Lily Barbieri both gave us the correct explanation, but the first one to do it was Christian Barbieri. That gives Christian Barbieri 2.5 points in my winner of the year leaderboard, and that gives him 9.5 points in my greatest of all time leaderboard, and he joins Keishi for the lead. Time to get to this is question, and the question is fill in the blanks. So we have blank door, blank eye, and blank sculpture. One word will fit these three blanks, and your bonus question for this week is to put a word that could go into the list, and you'll get 0.5, only one bonus answer per person, and make sure you read other people's answers, because if you comment something that someone else has already commented, then it won't count. Now it's time for some thinking music. Pause the video if you need more time. your answers in the comments below and I'll announce the winner in the next episode of Le Quo.